Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one of the things that a lot of people are complaining in 22581 is video playback problems um, in this build. So if you are using a app and looking at videos that you have on your PC, for example, uh, or any, any video that opens a external app uh, like VLC and so on. Some people are reporting it with uh, MKV files, but it seems that any type of video files is affected. Uh, what is happening is that there's some uh, stuttering or even some kind of weird delay that happens in the video playback. And so um, this is, um, or even a mismatch in like the voice and what you see on the screen. I had started with 22581. It's not a known issue. So that means they probably haven't seen this problem happen, but it's quickly rising in the number one spot of problems people are having with this build. So uh, if you do have this kind of uh, weird issue, um, one of the things that uh, some people are saying is that um, the... Um, smart screen feature can be kind of, you know, um, disabled for check apps and files. Uh, and apparently it fixes the problem. Um, I don't recommend much doing this, but if you do have issues for now, that's pretty much a workaround that some people have uh, noticed in the smart screen feature. So it's, uh, you know, one of those things that probably went under the radar and nobody noticed it at Microsoft. This is why these builds are here and they're being tested for the next months because there's problems. Uh, but definitely, for some reason, that that build number isn't much higher than the build number before. There was, I believe, 579. And, uh, but it, it introduced more problems, which is kind of weird. Uh, that's such a small... Um, you know, increment in the build number, which means not a lot has changed, has also the, also introduced a lot more problems. So anyways, that's where um, we actually are here for that, testing this build. Uh, and a lot of people just don't understand also something about the builds uh, that I want to mention at the same time here. Um, so a lot of people say, well, you know, I get on the insider ring and I get this evaluation copy thing. So my windows isn't activated or it has nothing to do with activation or not. An insider build is an evaluation copy. That's it. Okay. At some point when it gets to the proper build and the beta or release preview, the watermark will be gone. That means you're getting the official build base that will be released. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize in the eva evaluation copy are the um, fact that when you're using builds for Windows Insiders, a lot don't realize that there's a expiration date. So here it says expires on September 15th. All Insider builds are like that. They are only good for the, the longest period of time I've seen in, uh, Insider builds uh, with, um, you know, a uh, time frame like this is six months. So what happens is that as you move on with other builds, that date actually gets, at some point, it gets pushed further. It even happened that Microsoft didn't change this and that some people were seeing, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, oh, your evaluation copy is about to expire or soon, do something about it. It's normal. That's the way um, insider builds work. You're not. It's not because you're not activated or anything. A insider build is an insider build. It's not meant to be used forever. So that's why all of that appears. It's, that's why it says evaluation copy. And I see this very often. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, go to get to the, go to the insider rings and you'll get some uh, a free ride to Windows." No, it's not. If you go to insider rings and you're not activated it's also going to be not activated and there are things that are not going to work and when you go back to a standard version you're not activated uh, you're not getting a free windows because you go to the windows insiders so uh, that is normal that's the way windows insider builds always worked uh, if you didn't have the watermark before is because you just jumped into a insider ring that's why it happens so it's the it's the way that insider builds actually work 
Uh, once you get to the point where, uh, you know, the build, the beta version goes to release preview and, and everything is being ready for the release, when you get there, you'll see that the watermark at some point will disappear and you'll be in a standard version of Windows with its, you know, 18-month um, cycle or 24-month cycle, depending on what it, uh, they decide to use on Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.